good day this is prophetess wendy thank you so much for joining us we're joining us for the first time i'd like to welcome you this is the true prophet of the lord i'm guided by the word of god i take it as it is i do not add or subtract if you happen to hear anything new just know that it's a revelation that comes from up above i believe in god the father the son and the holy spirit to my subscribers hallelujah i just want to thank you so much for being part of this channel you know if you're watching me for the first time don't forget to subscribe to this channel we love you so much with the love of the lord the bible says in the book of james faith without action it is dead amen faith without action it is dead that is in the book of james if you've got time james, james has got few chapters you can just read it and finish it in an hour so what do i have to say to you i just want to start by quickly sharing my testimony when god says that faith you know so many of us we've got faith amen somebody says i need somebody to pray for me for for them to increase my faith you know the reason i say you've got faith you know this morning you have woken up you know when you felt like you know what i want to wake up you got out of bed something told you that you can still walk and do something amen and then when you walk you could walk to the kitchen you could walk to the garage amen some of us will wake up or we'll go to work but still we say that we don't have faith even though you have not seen your colleagues you still wake up and go to work hoping that when you get there you're gonna find people that is your faith when we speak of action we speak about you getting out of bed amen there are people who got out of bed going to work only to find that the building that they were going into has been burned but they took an action when you take an action it's when you wake up do something amen when right now i pray and say that god i want a car amen and then the first question that god is going to ask me what type of car do you want amen then have i ever gone uh, to a dealership to check the type of car that i want amen have i ever done a test drive on the car that i want when we speak of you having faith we speak of you going to a place where you want something that you need amen i just want to share my testimony quickly then i'll also share my grandmother's testimony I remember I didn't have money. This is a true story. Then I spoke to my husband to say that, you know what? I feel like I need to buy groceries. There are things that we need in the house. And my husband says, you are right. But the only challenge, we don't have the money to buy the things that you need for now. Let's just wait for month end. You know, month end is for payday. And I saw, uh -uh, I'm not going to wait for payday. I remember we prayed with my husband. And then we left the house. When we left the house, I told him, go to check us. He was like, go to check us. He thought maybe I have money. But I didn't have money. I had faith. Amen. When we speak of faith, it says that faith is the substance of things that are not seen, but we hope these things, we can see them. You know, when you are hoping for something, you can see something, you know, in your spirit, in your mind, you can see something, you can visualize the type of things that you want. It's like when you say, I want to get married and you find that you have a picture of you getting married, the type of dress that you want to wear, even though you have not yet bought the dress. So that was the same situation with me. I didn't have um, uh, the resources to go buy the groceries you know that is required for one to buy groceries and then my husband was like no it's fine let me drop her there he believed that i had money and in my heart because i took a step of faith you know of saying that god you know sometimes we ask god for something god i want this i want that after that we just sit down and not do anything about it amen is that when you say i want a wife and then you don't go out there proposing women what do you expect amen you must say something to someone in order for you to have a wife but guided by the lord so what do i have to say to you i went to check us pretoria north you know i went inside and then i begin to buy the groceries the husband is waiting in the car thinking the wife has got money then i bought the grocery you know when i was moving around i could feel the holy spirit you know when you take action god begins to work god begins to bring things together that's why he says when you see stones scattered i see it coming together when you see situations falling apart god sees it coming together i went inside i bought grocery when after buying grocery, now I said, hey, God, hey, I don't want to be embarrassed in this thing. And then I called my husband. <laughs> I called my husband. I was like, I come and pay. <laughs> Remember, he told me he does not have the money to pay. But right now, because God says he will pay, I'm thinking he's going to use my husband. Amen. So my husband says to me, Mama, I don't have money. You know, when he said that I'm there at the queue, 
I remember there was, I can only remember, the hair was some, was this color. It was a white guy, I remember. He was in front, you know, you can't even hear our home language because in South Africa we've got different type of language. My home language is Tsonga, so I was speaking to him in Tsonga. So I can hear that guy in front of me saying, you know, uh, to the tailor to say that, you know what, I want to pray for, to pay for this lady. Amen. And I said, me? <laughs> You know how it is. It's like, yeah, I want to pay. You want to pay for everything. Yeah. Even the things that I've put aside, you know, when you are not sure. <laughs> Go, hey, this is too much. Let me just put it aside because I cannot be able to pay for this. I said, even for this. He said, take everything that you need. I'm going to pay. And that guy paid for me. You know, he paid for me. And then after paying for me, that is when I was so grateful unto God. I know that people get offended when they give you something and say, I thank the Lord. But for me, it was like, thank you, Jesus, because you did not let me down. Hallelujah. Boy, because I took a step of faith. I needed grocery. I went to the store and Jesus paid. Amen. But through that man, I have never seen him again. I just want to thank you personally. If you are watching this video, I am so grateful you saved the day. So what do I have to say to you? When we speak about you taking a step of faith, we are speaking about you doing something. Can I say, I want to study law. Amen only to find that there is no university that you have applied. Once you say, I want to study law, make sure that you apply in the university that you want to study law. Amen. Then when you start to apply, that is a step of faith. You cannot come into the presence of the Lord and say that, God, I want a job. After that, after prayer, you go home, you eat, you sit, you sleep. Even though you have fasted, God wants you to take a step of faith. How do you take a step of faith when you speak of action? It is when you begin to uh, send your CV. Amen. Even in places where you do not qualify. Didn't I share my testimony here to say that I once work? I'm not going to mention the company because they might call me to recoup the money or they might call me to pay them back but i was not qualified but they shortlisted me anyway and i worked for that company why because i did that by faith sometimes you might need a dress i want to give you a simple example i remember asking my husband uh, sorry i'm not bringing about my husband but he's the closest friend i have and uh, who is related to this topic for today so i wanted a dress so bad i told my husband i want a dress you know we've just started the ministry things were still hard and my husband said to me mm -mm, we can't buy a dress we've got most important things to deal with than a dress you know when he spoke to me i remember getting into the office my account was zero zero then God says to me, you need a dress. I'm a very close friend of the Holy Spirit. I was like, yes. And the Holy Spirit said to me, go to the shop and buy the dress. You know? And then just like that, I just closed the office. I didn't even ask my boss to say I'm going where, where. Mm -mm. I just got out. I went straight to the shop because it's not far from my office. I went straight to the shop. I took the dress. After taking the dress, I'm there at the queue. You know, the queue is moving. <laughs> it's moving. And I'm like, God, today I'm going to be embarrassed. People are busy coming and say, wow, is that your dress? Oh, Wendy, you've got an eye for the dress. Some, they didn't even know my name, but people were looking at that dress. And then there were people who were complimenting me for the colors. But in my heart, I was like, today, I'm going to embarrass myself. I checked my phone. There was no message. Then there comes the last person to pay. And then I must go. Then when I was there, I was like, God, today, I've never embarrassed myself like this. You know, when I get there, I will say, I forgot the wallet. Then as I was about, when, when the, we were busy with that last person, and then it was my turn, I received a phone call. You know, my husband said, I don't know. I received money from somewhere. Please go buy that dress. I said, I'm already in the shop. Thank God I was obedient to God. Then I bought the dress I was left to change. Why? Because I took a step of faith. When we speak about you to say that faith without action, it is dead. You will end up blaming God to say this thing of faith does not work. Amen. Faith is the substance of things that we hope for, things that are not seen. Amen. And the Bible says it is impossible to please God without faith. Amen. We ourselves are limiting ourselves by sitting at home and say, ah, I'm not going to go ask them if they are hiring. It's embarrassing. Amen. I'm not going to go back to school, you know, because I'm too old. You know, if you feel like you want to go back to university and you want to do, why not do it? Amen. Whatever you're dreaming about, I don't know what is it that you want from God. If you say, I want to build a double story house, amen, don't just ask, where will the money come from? You go to the store, you ask them, you know what, 
how much is the, the this going to the bricks how much are they going to, to to cost me you know you begin to check you do a quotation a quotation you begin to change the plan that you had before to the one that you want if you want to extend the house you take the plan you know and take it to the place where it's supposed to be so why do i have to say we cannot just pray alone when we speak of faith you believe that god through prayer is going to do something but god says i want you to take action Yoga Beth, you've been sitting for too long. It's about time you take action on whatever that you do. I'm going to bless it. God is saying, I'm going to bless the work of your hands. And God is reminding us, faith without action, it is dead. These things go together. After believing that God is going to bless you with a house. Amen. Have you ever checked Property 24? Amen. Private property 24 have you ever checked i don't know how they put it i'm sorry for pronouncing it wrong but one thing i wanted to say have you ever checked houses that are there for sale what type of house do you want to buy how much is it going to cost you do you qualify or you don't qualify that you leave it in the hands of god but you take a step of faith to tell them i want the house don't just pray god god i want the house god i want a house god and then you sit down you don't do anything god needs you he needs your body to use your body to, to avail yourself to the people that are selling the house that you want. Then you sit down with them and tell them that this is the house that I want. Amen. So what do I have to say? Let us learn to take action. Faith goes with action. Amen. Faith without action, it is dead. So what do I have to say? Let us practice what God is saying. The Bible said, let us not be hearers of the word. Let us be doers of the word and put it into practice. I'm sorry about that. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.